The James Webb Space Telescope provides astronomers with an unparalleled view of the cosmos, revealing intriguing discoveries that continue to captivate the scientific community. In a recent effort, the researchers directed the Webb Telescope toward a staggering array of 5,000 relatively young galaxies. Among them, they discovered a galaxy, the youngest to date, which revealed a series of extraordinary cosmic phenomena to the point of perplexing scientists as to how it is possible. While things may seem a bit fuzzy now on the cosmic time scale, it's a win-win for both science and humanity. The first series of data released by the Sears survey features a region known as the Extended Growth Strip and transports viewers to a time shortly after the Big Bang. In this video you can see more than 5,000 galaxies in beautiful full color and in three dimensions. The cosmic journey begins with relatively close galaxies located a few billion light years from Earth and concludes in the Macy Galaxy which at 13.4 billion light years from Earth is one of the most distant galaxies ever observed by mankind. And it looks like it's only about 390 million years after the Big Bang. As such, this new Webb Telescope video represents not only a journey through space, but also a journey back in time, rewinding cosmic evolution to a period when the 13.8 billion year old universe was approximately a third of his present age. The video is the result of data collected by the Sears Early Cosmic Evolution Survey and explores a region of space called the Extended Growth Strip. This strip lies between the constellations Ursa Major and Vault, and contains around 100,000 galaxies. Of particular interest to astronomers in this visualization is the Macy Galaxy, which serves as an example of the type of early galaxy that the JWST is capable of studying. Also, astronomers using the telescope have observed a chain of ancient galaxies stretching more than 3 million light years, connected by a cosmic filament dating back to the earliest days of the universe. This ancient filament of gas and stars could represent the oldest known threat to the cosmic web. This discovery may shed light on how the universe formed and also on the invisible strings that hold it together. It is anchored by an extremely bright celestial object with a supermassive black hole known as a quasar at its center. Over the past 20 years, research has revealed that the universe is built on a kind of scaffolding, a series of filaments, and clumps invisible to the naked eye. In these clumps, dark matter and regular matter become very dense, creating the perfect conditions for the birth of stars and galaxies. Between these clumps and filaments are low-density regions of the universe, where there are very few galaxies and less matter. Although the filament itself is invisible, it is possible to see how it brings galaxies together. Meanwhile, a quasar, a luminous supermassive black hole, is thought to be anchoring the filament. The team believes that eventually the galaxies will attract each other and form a cluster, similar to the nearby coma cluster of galaxies. The team also hopes the discovery will shed more light on the cosmic web, but is also very interested in how early quasars formed in the infancy of the universe. Speaking of quasars, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have detected the furthest feeding active supermassive black hole ever observed. The black hole also happens to be one of the least massive seen in the early universe with a mass equivalent to about 9 million times that of the Sun, which is challenging to explain. The researchers observed the galaxy hosting this active supermassive black hole as part of the Sears Survey of Early Cosmic Evolution, designated Sears 1019. The galaxy looks as it did when the 13.8 billion year old universe was about 570 million of years. This is because the processes by which supermassive black holes grow, either through mergers between successively larger black holes or voraciously devouring surrounding matter, should take longer than the 570 million years this black hole had. This means that even black holes on a scale like the one at the center of the Milky Way, which is around 4.5 million times the mass of the Sun, should only be seen in the relatively nearby and therefore more recent universe. 
The black hole at the heart of Sears 1019 is about 9 million solar masses. This may sound tremendously massive, but many supermassive black holes can grow to be billions of times the mass of our star. However, even at this relatively small size, the existence of such massive black holes in the early universe remains a puzzle to scientists. Observing this distant object with this telescope is like looking at data for black holes that exist in galaxies close to our own, study co-author Rebecca Larson said in the statement. Scientists have long suspected that such supermassive black holes existed in the early universe, but only since JWST opened its infrared eye to the cosmos in mid-2022 has definitive proof emerged. The light emissions reveal that the black hole Sears 1019 is actively feeding on the matter around it. Black holes that feed in this way are surrounded by eddies of incoming gas and dust, known as accretion disks. Not only is the gravitational influence of the black hole heating this matter, causing the disk to glow brightly, but powerful magnetic fields funnel the matter toward the black hole's poles where it is occasionally ejected in twin jets moving at velocities near the speed of light, generating an intensely bright light. Taking a closer look at the intense radiation from the black hole could reveal just how fast its host galaxy is growing and possibly shed light on its mysterious past. A galaxy merger could be partly responsible for fueling activity in this galaxy's black hole, which could also lead to increased star formation. Whatever it is, the scientists are analyzing the data with precision. These data revealed by Webb have drastically changed the way we look at the early universe. Galaxies that form only about 390 million years after the Big Bang present a challenge to our model of cosmology. Of course, we can adjust the model based on the revelations made by the telescope. But much remains to be discovered from the vast amount of information collected by Webb in the early universe. Scientists have also suggested that although Massey's galaxy is the youngest galaxy yet, more observations point towards even younger galaxies and black holes gracing the infant universe. As such, going back to the drawing board would not only be necessary, but will be an absolute necessity. Whatever the universe is hiding from us, it's only a matter of time. Soon we will have the answers, or rather, we will know where we could find them. As I said at the beginning, it is a win-win for both science and humanity. What do you think? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.